Greetings everybody, this is Base6286, welcoming you back to more Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we got a new party member, and that's not what I wanted to do. Cool! This is Amrit. Uh, he's kind of like a ninja monk. Um, yeah, that's the, I think that's the best way to explain uh, how he works. We'll, we'll get to see more of him in battles, definitely. I'll probably be using him for probably the rest of the game, I don't know. He's one of my favorite characters, so we'll see. Anyways, I did some uh, training with him off screen here, so I learned his, his chakra ability from his cast claws and a couple other uh, meh abilities just to kind of get them out of the way. Um, you can also go back to Madden Sari at this point and switch out party members if you want to, which basically you can just switch an Ico for someone else. Is all you can really do at this point. Um, but yeah, other than that. I'm meeting you here at the Aoife Tree, just because I thought it would be easier. If, last time we left off, we were at Madden Surrey, so I just thought I'd make the trek over here to make it simpler. So, let's go. <sighs> I feel like that happens every time I start a vil uh, video on the field or somewhere with random encounters. <sighs> Anyways, we've got an exciting episode today because we're going to be finishing Disc 2 in this episode. Heck yeah. Exciting times. So, with that being the case, you can probably expect there to be lots of story in this episode, but it'll, it's good story, so let's get going. There's still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breathes it. So much for the mist continent. No more mist. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. Sidon, there's a silver dragon! It's him. He flew from the ruins of Burmesia riding a silver dragon. It's Kuja, all right, and he's riding that dragon. So you've mentioned like three times in a row. We get it. He's riding a silver dragon. All right. <laughs> and by riding, you mean just like surfing on him or something. What the heck? Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it is no longer matters if the Eva tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. <laughs> the tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver Dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Eva. No one shall interrupt us there. Digging his theme song too. It's pretty awesome. And just in case you weren't sure, we can change party members again. But we're going to keep the current ones we have. I have everything all set up that we need, so no worries there. We have to head back into the Aoife tree here. Ooh, we get some enemies still. Amran learned an ability. Let's see if we can switch anything around. I don't think we can. Nope. Onwards and upwards, then. Yeah, it was just another battle with some zombies. We've seen them before, so... Nothing really to note about them. We'll get to see Amarin in action soon enough. Another one of those giant tree octopi. Anyways, dagger landing ability, so I think we can switch some stuff around here. Her. Um, We'll go for the silk robe. For now. And still climbing up the tree. It seems longer than I remember for some reason. Just my imagination, though. Oh, hey. We'll pass the trunk if we go any further. It's a nice view. <laughs> Big trees are so awesome. Kuja went down that trunk. I say, Zayden, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb there? Uh, I guess you could. There is a lot of moss, so... But then again, it could be slippery moss. Not me. And me neither. I don't think I can either. We came all this way. Now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We've got to go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Whoa, hey. Hey, Amrit, watch where you're walking. He almost knocked me down. He hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. <laughs> Whatever. Like you actually have a plan. 
Oh, yeah, smarty pants? Don't forget you're the one that lost his eye and... Shut up, brat. A plan, huh? That's right, Amrant. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some Gargan grass around here, so a Gargan can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Oh, so there was Gargan grass or flowers or whatever. Huh. Then we can all get on and ride it to the top. Why should I do all that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How'd I ever let this dimwit beat me? Hey! Wh whoa! He sure has spirit. Alright, Dagger. I'll just carry you piggyback. Aw. Huh? Hey! Sidon! Wait just a... <laughs> oh, don't protest so much, Dagger. You know you like it. The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong, and is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. I really like his name for her. Thanks, Amaranth. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja. Just over yonder. God dang it, enough with the organizing the party. Kuja. Maker of black mages. Any enemy of Zidon is an enemy of mine. Okay, let's go. You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet Till Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really you who persuaded my mother to start the war? The war threw the entire miscontinent to chaos. And you made everyone, the black mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear, the princess has such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with broth of mist, add fermented souls, and boil. It sounds evil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to... Stop it! Not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First, you don't want to listen. Now you start asking questions? Oh, brother. You're not ready yet. Why, you... Don't you feel anything, taking the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go all the time. What's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why... What about the mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? No, no. Your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. I want to make a uh, Dark Knight reference there, but I couldn't think of anything. Liar! My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. Finally decided to show your girly face here. You're all that stands between me and total domination. Yeah, but I haven't forgotten all you've done for me. In return, I will show you the ultimate power. Attention, all hands! Order the black mages to focus all their magical energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire! Fire at will!
Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all your magical energy into a single spell. Yum. Yum. I... I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist! It's battle time! With a couple of crazy centipede caterpillar things. I don't know. Anyways, here we go with a quasi-boss battle. There really isn't anything to steal from these guys, but I'm still gonna at least steal once, just because that's what I do every fight. Um, Alright, so, I guess we could show off... Um... Oh, these guys are weak to fire, by the way. Alright, so here's we have Amaran. You'll notice he has Flare. Which he gets some, uh, these are very monkish slash ninja-like abilities. Chakra, I'll explain in a second. Spare change, you can throw money to deal damage. And just regular throw here, as you can see. We've got some, basically our weapon item, weapons here. We can throw various things, pretty much any kind of weapon, at an enemy to deal damage to them. Which is kind of cool. And uh, mainly you want to use things like these rising suns or those pinwheels that we saw. Stuff like that is what you'll mainly want to use. Um, heck, let's bring out all the stops. Let's summon Rama. Why not? Alright, now, what's nice about his uh, chakra ability, as I can show off in a minute here, is, uh, well, I'll just say it now, just in case I kill the enemies, is it heals both HP and MP. So, yeah, for a measly 4 MP, we can heal a really nice chunk of MP on our own characters. Essentially giving us infinite uh, MP, so, yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome. One of the reasons I really like using, uh, Amaranth as a character, especially when using other characters like Vivi, who are very MP-heavy and reliant. So, two of your enemies are duking it out. Why don't just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> nice. Foolish broad, your prize cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist. <laughs> but even a fool like you knows that there is only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well, I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target. You can't miss. Silver Dragon, descend. What are you plotting, Kuja? I don't like it. I don't trust it. Amaranth's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No. I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Dagger? Side and I... I have to save her. Uh, Dagger, she extracted Eidolons from you and started a war. I still don't want her to die. But she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother. I don't care if you don't understand. Heiko, you said that there was an idol in, in prison near here, right? Um, yeah. Please, tell me where. It's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see it. Hmm. Dagger, don't go alone. Oh, jeez. This is turning into quite the show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this? Give her a break! Sidon, let's go. Dagger's in danger all by herself. Yeah, let's go after her. That was just another, uh, mist monster, by the way. What the heck? I never knew there was a Moogle back here. There's a letter from Stiltskin, but I don't understand what he's saying. The mist is gone. Is this a blessing or a curse? 
Koopa, I don't understand. Can't we all be happy now that the mist is gone? I want mail, Koopa. Well, this is crazy. I honestly never knew there was a Moogle back here. Well, I could save and end the episode, but heck with that. We're just gonna make this a special one. Let's let's go long. Make it a long one. Oh man, we're gonna get chased, aren't we? Yeah, jeez, that thing's fast. Man, it's really nice being able to use spells freely with Vivi now that I have Chakra in hand to keep his MP up. I don't know, my Vivis are on level 30 right now, and I can one-shot those uh, Mystodons with bio spells, so that's very handy. Oh, well. I guess I'll show this snippet of a battle. Just because, uh, freaking Ico is going at the trance. So, as you can see, Ico's trance is very similar to Vivi's. She'll be able to cast two white magic spells in one turn. Uh, I'm not gonna show it off because I'm basically just gonna annihilate this guy with a bio spell right now. After I steal some ore from him. Because we really need ore. Jeez. I'm pretty sure we still have, like, 99 of it still. Oh well. There you go. One bio and he's dead. Freaking bio is awesome. Alright, keep moving. Yes. Made it down. Oh hey, look at that statue. It's very serpentine. I sense the Idolan's power. Now, now I can save my mother. Please help me. Ooh, what's going on here? Whoa, what the heck? It has wings. Like an aquamarine. Nice. No! What? Yes? I don't know. I can't save my mother with this Eidolon. Well, that sucks. Dagger, what's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Eidolon, but... But, I don't believe it. This is a legendary sea serpent, Leviathan. Leviathan? An Eidolon who wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry, Dagger. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. So, yeah, if she would have used that uh, brands in a bunch of ships, so that wouldn't have worked out too well. Isn't Her Majesty ready yet? All remaining ammunition was spent in the last wave of monsters. The next wave will chew us up unless we pull out now. That's what she said. Or he said? Uh, <laughs> anyways. That is our decision. Get back to your post, soldier. Or it's not your de our decision. Whoops. Ooh, look at that guy. He's all glowy. Oh, man. I have to read more te text from her now. <laughs> Your Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp. Now I can finish him off. Come! Draconic Seedling! Bahamut, King of Dragons! Well, that was pretty badass. I've heard the stories, but I never thought summoning could be so powerful. Ooh. If Sidon is after their power, I'd better watch out. Wow, now we can win, and Mother won't have to die. Aiko, don't you think... What's wrong? Mog, she's terrified. How come? I don't know. Don't you know? That's the last Eidolon, Bahamut, the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. 
I don't know. Kuja seems to have some kind of plan up his sleeve. I wouldn't be so sure. Blood. <laughs> ah, excellent, Fahamut. Power, mobility. You are truly the best. You even heard me. A little. And you, Braun. Your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him. But we found Queen Bran on the beach, next to her escape pod. She could hardly move, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kujo a lot, but I hate Bran a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Dagger start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry too. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible Greed. Mother. I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the throne. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Bran's escape pod. We also brought... Dagger's mother with us. This way, princess. Oh, hey. Steiner, Beatrix. How horrible that her life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, this was my... No, it was my fault. Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during this... my time of need? Yes, princess. Certainly. Thank you. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. The townspeople sent it as an offering for the queen's grave. True, Queen Bran had been acting quite erratic before her death. 
But the people still are very fond of her, as you can see. Mother. I shall become a great queen. Alright guys, and that is the end of disc 2. But yeah, so, <laughs> this has been a long episode, but I think uh, I think this is worthy of it, a worthy time. So, thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully you you enjoyed this, this crazy episode, and uh, join me next time when we start disc 3. See you guys then.